Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, if you are new here. I just finished cleaning out my closet, and so for this video, I'm going to share with you my process for selling my clothes. So there are a couple different things that I do to sell my clothes, and so I use Poshmark, thread up and I also have used buy sell trade stores I'm not sure if I'm going to this time it really depends but I'm going to go through the pros and cons of each of those different ways to sell your clothes for money but if you are interested in making money for your used clothes that you really just don't wear anymore now is a really really great time to do it we are entering summer a lot of people are looking for new items to add to their wardrobe so I am going to share with you my process and if you are interested in seeing how I make money on my clothes just keep watching all right so here are all the items that i pulled out of my closet that i've decided to move forward with and to no longer keep in my closet and sell and hopefully find a new home for them so i'm going to go through my process so i'm going to go through these items one by one if i do feel like the item is in really really good condition then i will put it aside to post on poshmark now if i do think it needs to be washed i will throw it in the wash first of course but then from there if the item is kind of more worn or or maybe just I don't think it is as trendy or maybe it is a fast fashion brand that won't sell very well on Poshmark, then I will put it in a thread up bag. So here is a thread up bag that I have already added items to as I kind of go through my closet and find things that I no longer want to keep. And the really, really nice thing about selling your clothes on thread up is it's incredibly convenient. Now they do not give you very much for your clothes. So that is the main con, but it is so convenient. So anything that I just like don't necessarily want to waste time to list on Poshmark, I will just throw in this bag and I just mail it out and ThreadUp takes care of the rest. They list it, they post it, and then as soon as it sells, I usually get like one or two dollars per item if the item sells. If it doesn't sell, then it's ThreadUp's to keep and that is not a problem to me because sending things to ThreadUp is just the most convenient out of the three options for sure. So this item right on top is a great example of an item that I would send into ThreadUp. I'm gonna throw it in the wash first because it looks like there's little something right here and it should come out in the wash. But the reason I would give this the thread up is because it is from forever 21 it's just a simple camisole and although i do think that this shirt definitely has more life to it i don't think anyone would pay seven dollars of shipping to buy it on poshmark so i rather send it to thread up maybe get a couple dollars if anyone wants to buy it but if not not a big deal i only spent maybe ten dollars on this top it's just not worth posting on poshmark all right, so here are all the items that I have ready to post on Poshmark. So the thing about Poshmark is it definitely takes the most effort out of all the different options to sell your clothes. And of course you have to still hold on to the item until it sells. But typically if it does sell, you'll get a lot more per item. So especially if the item is in really good condition and is a brand name, it's always a good idea in my opinion to try it on Poshmark because it might sell quickly. And then if it doesn't sell, you could either lower your price or you could just put it in a thread up bag there's really not a loss it just takes a little bit more time and energy so I actually have quite a few things to post on Poshmark if you are interested in any of these items I will link my Poshmark down below but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of each item and list it on Poshmark so just a few items that I didn't declutter from my closet I went through my leggings so I have some leggings that I really just don't wear they're not my favorite and I have so many leggings but they're really good brands so this one's aloe I got it from Nordstrom Rack this one is Zella and then this one's Zella as well and then this one I got from Amazon it wasn't expensive but it's from colorful koala it's just a little too big for me but I know there's a lot of hype around colorful koala because the quality is really good for the price so I was thinking I might as well try and see if anybody is interested on Poshmark I like selling on Poshmark because I know that the item is going to somebody who wants it so I think that is also the best chance of giving your clothes a second life donating to like a goodwill is obviously very great you can just donate your clothes and call it a day but i just think that there's just so much 
clothing that gets donated that there's no guarantee that it'll actually end up with somebody who loves it. So Poshmark is kind of a better avenue in that sense as well. By the time you watch this video, all of these items should be listed on my Poshmark. All right, so I did wanna take a moment to also talk about a third option, which is buy, sell, trade stores. So these are stores like Plato's Closet, Buffalo Exchange, Crossroads. Those are just to name a few that I'm familiar with that I have gone to in the past. Now these are also really great options the only problem is it is very time-consuming so I would say the payout is in between what you would get from ThreadUp and Poshmark. Poshmark is definitely the highest, ThreadUp is definitely the lowest but in terms of convenience it's also right in the middle so you do have to physically bring your items into the buy sell trade store you have to wait for them to go through the items you can either stay in store or you can leave and come back typically it takes a few hours though and then whatever they take they will let you know how much they're willing to pay out for for. The good thing about buy sell trade stores is if they don't decide to take your item, you do get it back. Like with ThreadUp, you don't get it back. You just send it on its way and if they don't want to sell your item, then you're kind of out of luck and it's, it's just, it is what it is. So basically with the three items, they're all different and it really just depends on how much extra time you have and the more inconvenient it is and the more effort it takes, the higher the payout is if your item sells. Here is how my thread up bag is looking it's almost full so I am gonna go ahead and close it up and send it on its way I usually will send brands like Target brands I love Target clothing but it just doesn't resell very well so I usually will send it to thread up anything from forever 21 any stores like that or anything that might just be not perfect wear I will just go ahead and send it thread up and if they don't sell it it's not a big deal I am NOT going to worry about it so I will go ahead and pack this up another thing to just kind of keep in mind if you do want to give your clothing the best chance of being sold is to sell your clothes in season so as you can see up here I have like a ton of like fall sweaters and things like that and it's not the best time to sell fall sweaters because nobody is buying this fall sweaters so I figured I'd go ahead and po post them on Poshmark anyways and then when the season comes I can always repost my posting but especially with thread up just I would recommend sending only your in-season items because if not there is a window of time that you your item has to sell by before it expires so you kind of want to give it its best chance to be picked up by somebody and sold so that you can get your payout this goes along with buy sell trade stores as well they do look for in-season items and so keep that in mind that might be why some of your items are being rejected all right so I hope this was helpful I'm kind of seeing my process of what I do with items that I decluttered from my closet. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it so much. But thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye. Hey.